the first wrestling tapes I've seen were the tapes of my dad. And they were totally different than everything you would see in WWF, right? Mm -hmm. Very mad based very bad quality, super dark and everything. And they would wrestle in, uh, in gigantic tents with like four, 5,000 people there. And they would do tournaments over like 30 to 60 days. So every day people would like fill that tent up with like four or 5,000 people. And it was, more, it was more of that beer drinking, chanting, mm. football, soccer kind of crowd, right? But it's, it was very, it was very honest and very emotional. You know what I mean? Right. Wow. I mean, my, mm. my dad was born in 1933. Ooh. We were in crazy times in Germany. Yeah. So um, my dad, being 12 years old, he already served for two armies, the Germans and the French. Wow. God. Yeah, as a little kid, he actually um, uh, flew from home over the border and uh, went to the French Legion. Okay. Uh, one of the hardest armies in the world. Like French Legion is tough. And uh, um, I, I grew up with my dad being like the proudest man I've ever known. Like mm -hmm. for him, it was always wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. He was married five times because there was always wrestling, 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 and wrestled on every continent of the world. And um, man, I've, I've never met anybody who was so proud and so 101% wrestling all the time. Like that's how yeah. I grew up. And um, a lot of the Imperium. Um, things we're saying the matter sacred and all that stuff is from my dad that's oh, everything okay. my dad would teach me literally as a kid um this my son that's the mad and that is sacred that's where i get goosebumps talking about yeah. it because he was so proud of it and all that you know so i grew up that way and obviously i was i was a fan of uh, all the wwf stars right i, yeah. I love them like Shawn michaels and all those guys were my heroes obviously um but then I always had the different side of wrestling too, which was the European style, right? Not quite world of sports, but you know, still different. And yeah, for me, it was always uh, obvious that I wanna wanna like fill my father's footsteps and wanna yeah. become a wrestler. And uh, yeah, you always encouraged me to do it too. Um, wrestling is not a big thing in, in Germany, amateur wrestling, not like in America, unfortunately. Yeah. So I started with boxing and when I was nine, did that for four years, then started amateur wrestling because we moved and um, did that for a year and then finally uh, grabbed my dad's old boots out of his um, closet fit perfectly my first 10 years i wrestled in my father's boots each and every match Ooh. and yeah that's how it all began he saw me wrestle he saw me um I, I don't know if you have have you been in hamburg with wxw yes I have. great great city right yes. great audience everything he saw yes. me actually winning the titles uh, tag team titles with mac back in the day mac, the mac the mac <laughs> yeah. you know Hamburg's finest, the Mac. Yes. Um, we won the tag team titles. He saw me and all that kind of. That was highly emotional. That was like yeah. he grabbed the microphone after that match and said, "My son, uh, or my wow. right there." He said, "My boy, you're gonna be a great one, and I love you, and I'm very proud of you, and I still get goosebumps from that." It was uh, probably the I best moment of my life. 